I rock the mic and make the crowd say ho. People, if you're ready to ride, then let's go. Well, as a child, what made me go vegetarian as a child, I, I, I really never liked eating meat. You know, I was always forced to eat meat, you know. You can't leave the table until you eat your steak or whatever, you know. So it was already basically built in me. I was always a funny eater, you know. So when I had the opportunity, one Thanksgiving, you know, my uh, grandmother had prepared a lovely dinner. We had candy yams, the macaroni and cheese, the rice, the stuffing. And by the time I got through everything, I, I realized I didn't even have any turkey yet. But then I said, I, I, maybe I don't need any turkey. So I started striving from that to just leave the meat alone. Anything that's, you know, to save the animals, you know what I mean? Uh, first of all, my, my grandparents love animals also, you know what I mean? I've always been raised around, you know, different animals and stuff like that. And uh, when I got a chance to do the ad, and I'm also a vegetarian, it's like, it's everything that I've been practicing for the, like the last 10, 11, 12 years of my life. So. Anytime that I could encourage people to think twice before you do anything as far as to animal, animal cruelty or even eating them, you know. So just to see, you know, certain, certain tortures and certain things that animals go through to just be eaten or to be made out of, out of a coat or, you know, just different things, you know. Your, your heart kind of goes out, even though you, you know it's not a person, but still, it's a, it's, it's a living creature, you know. So, I mean, uh, every, everything should have its own right and feel to be who it is to the universe, because that's its sole purpose of being here.